Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. I look absolutely fucking insane. <laughs> Pretty much, I wanted to start a vlog because I don't, I'm just, I'm so bored and I'm kind of like over like trying to talk to people and like make friends. Every single guy's intentions are the same and it just, it gets really old after a while. Don't get me wrong, I'm not out here like talking to several guys at once, maybe like two guys, and they all want the same thing and I'm just not into that and I'm not, I respect myself more than that as a human being. So yeah, my look tonight is patterned leggings and a black shirt and a cute little rose choker in my second hole I have hoops first hole is pearl um, my hair is up in this ugly ponytail bracelets in the fight for someone I love for in memory of my grandma and then Bryce made me this I wear it every day and then this bangle which I usually wear up there Um, my rings I have this is the ring that Bryce got me but on my right hand because we're not dating and then I have another little like flower ring underneath it and then this ring I made it's ugly as fuck but I'm proud of it and you can't hate on me for that basically that's where I'm at and I am having a pretty good night I'm just like I have my window open and I'm embracing how cool it is outside right now um, my makeup is really intense I'm kind of emo um, I've always been emo. I had like a really bad scene kid phase like back in Late middle school early high school. It's, it doesn't really go away And I don't think it's necessarily something that you need to grow out of to be honest So yeah, I'm happy. Oh And my sister and Nathan they are so sweet and they got me a new mirror for my car so I'll show you that that tomorrow if I go anywhere so I won't get arrested for having no mirror and my sister also gave me a cute new belly button ring it is why does it look like it's literally sideways anyways um it's a rose and it's silver and I like the silver I wore like a rose gold one for as long as I can remember and it like since like two months after I got the piercing I've been wearing the same ring kind of gross but I clean it and stuff anyways I'm a new bitch. Not really. brushed my teeth. I took off my makeup. I used the Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes. They work the best for me. I have a dentist appointment on the 27th, so in like six days, I think. And I've been seeing the same dentist since I was like literally like three years old. Um, so I go back for a cleaning on the 27th. My gums have been really swollen, so I'm trying to brush them as much as possible. I've always had like really bad, um, like sensitive gums and they bleed when I brush them and it's just bad. I need to definitely floss more though because my dentist told me the last appointment when I got my last cavity fixed, um, he told me that I'm more prone to decay as opposed to like gingivitis which I do have decent gum issues sometimes. If I like forget to brush my teeth for a night, they'll get really swollen. And sometimes they get like irritated and sensitive on the bottom. But anyways, I need to be better about flossing because I never do it. And I care about my teeth and I want them to look good and not be gross. Um, definitely when my when I go back to the dentist, I'm gonna ask for floss, and I also want them to put me on a whitening kit. I was on a whitening kit back in like 2014, like when my mom and stuff was still paying for my dentist appointments, and since then, I've gotten a crown on this tooth, which is ceramic, and I don't want to whiten my teeth and then like have the crown be a different color I don't want to have to get it like rematched or whatever because obviously the bleach will not touch ceramic 
So I might ask about that and see if there's any whitening things that I could do for that. So yeah, that's just an update as far as teeth go. I am going to try to floss tonight, see if I can find some floss, and go crazy on the teeth because teeth are important. Make sure you take care of your teeth. I also have these that the dentist actually gave me to help clean because I have a bonded retainer on my bottom row of teeth in the middle. It's like that long. Um, I ha I've had that since I got my braces off and um, these are just essentially to clean under them. You can get these literally anywhere. They're like four dollars. But usually if you go to your dentist they will Another provide thing. them. I know this is like really weird to put in a vlog. Another thing that I would recommend for brushing um, to make sure you're getting everything. Um, the orthodontist gives you these little tablets. They basically they cling to any plaque and scum on your teeth essentially. Chew it up, spit out what's left of it, and then you go back and brush and it just makes your teeth look phenomenal because you can see exactly As what you can tell. It kind of leaves a purple residue at first, but you can get your teeth so clean. I highly recommend. I'm like a super freak about my teeth. I love everything teeth related. I love taking care of my teeth. It's something that I take pride in. Dental hygiene is important for me. And I feel like it just makes you feel so much better when your mouth is clean and healthy. And that's like another reason that when it comes to vaping, I don't really with like menthol because I've heard that it can fuck with your gums and I just I, I I don't like it I mean don't get me wrong menthol's cool like I love the cold feeling but I'm just also not willing to risk my teeth um I don't know if that's actually true if somebody out there knows feel free to let me know my tongue is so stained thumbnail so yeah also side rant today um, I was trying to get my AirPods to connect. So back in like early June, I bought um, AirPods, right? I got them from Walmart and they're like amazing. They're my favorite thing ever. But earlier when I went for my drive, my thing is I like to listen to music, right? And I couldn't get them to connect. It said they were connected and then my music was just playing through my phone speaker. I was so confused. So if anybody knows, like I tried like forgetting the device and then reconnecting it. They wouldn't fucking work, so maybe I'll try it again tonight and see if they'll work, but that was frustrating. So if anyone has experienced that and knows how to fix it, well, let me know. I've come to realize that it's nearly four in the morning and I still haven't taken my pill. For those of you that don't know, I think I've mentioned this before, I'm on 150 milligrams of Seroquel. It's a mood stabilizer for bipolar because that's what I am. So yeah, I just take this every night taking your pill with soda wow karina great example after you literally just ranted for 10 minutes about taking care of your teeth not a hypocrite at all my hair down brushed it i clipped my bangs back for the night growing your bangs out is such a hassle i just want to say that right now for anybody who's thinking about getting full across bangs if you're going to change your mind don't do it because you'll have to worry about perfectly covering up your damn mullet all the time and it's not a fun struggle to have. So yeah. I'm going to head to bed. Because it's 3am and I just took my pill. I'm doing great. And I will vlog tomorrow. Good morning guys. Today is August 22nd I believe. And it is Saturday today. I just went to the bank pulled $80 out of the ATM for my dad because I pay him monthly for my car insurance and now I'm just on a little drive. I got a mirror, that's a cop, I got a mirror for my driver's side um, so Nathan put that on because he's a godsend so now I'm not going to get pulled over for having no mirror which is nice but yeah I'm going to finish up this drive and I will talk to you guys. Basically, I haven't vlogged in like six hours. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Um, oh. 
night. Hold so on. I haven't vlogged in like seven hours. It's like almost 1 a.m. right now. I just got off the phone and I FaceTimed my sister earlier for a little bit. I'm just doing, oh my God, my fucking camera, hello. Journaling and journaling is very, very therapeutic for me. I would recommend to anybody who struggles with anxiety or like obsessive thoughts and like depression, I'd recommend going to like your local family dollar, getting a cheap journal like this one. This one was literally like $5. I personally like spiral bound because they're more durable. Pick up a journal, get a nice pencil and write. Just write about everything. That's another thing that my counselor taught me when I was in counseling was keep a journal. Like you can, she made the metaphor of like, look at it as like a locked box that you put all the bad stuff or the worrying stuff or the stuff that's upsetting you or the stuff that's on your mind you put it in a box and you lock it and you put it away and you don't think about it until it's necessary right so that's kind of what my journal is to me i've been keeping a journal since i was like probably like eight nine and it's very very therapeutic and i do recommend keeping a journal that's basically the sitch i have had a good night and I'm just going to upload some thumbnails on my computer because I have a few that I need to upload. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't have a plan for tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, so I'm probably just gonna be at home. Church is only happening once a month with COVID, so I will not be going to church, sadly. I wanna get back into that, that's another goal of mine. So, if I have one word of advice, just live your life and let things come as they will and leave as they will it's all part of a plan and in the end you're gonna end up happy and that's all that matters and i feel like lately i've had like a come to jesus with everything that happened with my grandma losing her was so sudden and we were all expecting her to come home and like fight through it and then we lost her like that like it literally happened in the blink of an eye she was gone and it was really like my big come to Jesus moment. Just knowing that like life is so fucking fragile and there are some people who are fighting like hell for it and things can change in the blink of an eye. So don't sit here and like focus on the negatives, focus on the positives, like focus on all the good things that you have in your life. Like maybe, maybe focus on the one friend who's really supportive or focus on good music or just like focus on your hobbies like for me my hobby like my number one passion is hair and makeup like cosmetology focus on that if your passion is reading get out a book and read like just focus on what you like to do focus on what you enjoy doing and that will make your life a lot easier than sitting there and worrying about things that you can't control and i also feel like lately god has had such an important role in my life like just knowing that like what he says goes he is almighty and he is powerful and god god does have a plan and it's beyond it's beyond anything that we could ever imagine here on earth like it's beyond our earthly knowledge and it's an amazing incredible heavenly plan and it's it's all gonna work out in the end and that's important to know it's important to have that perspective even when you doubt it, it's important to know that it's all gonna work out. So yeah, I guess I just kinda wanted to say that and get my feelings out because I'm feeling in a really like simp ass mood right now, I don't know why. Also, I'm vaping a juice from Keep It 100, it's birthday cake, like Funfetti. It's in point three. It's definitely the type of flavor that I cannot hit on it all day without it giving me a headache because it is super sweet and like dessert. Flavor. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go and do whatever it is that I do on my free time. But I guess while I'm here, uh, I can show you guys a couple of my favorite products that I've been loving recently. So I guess I'll start with brushes. I want to do an updated brush collection video even though it hasn't changed like a whole ton. Um, I just keep my brushes in this little like quad holder thing that my mom got me. I've had it for literally like seven years. So I'll just show you a couple of my favorite brushes. I'll start with face brushes. So for my face, I tend to avoid wearing heavy, heavy foundation and makeup in the summertime because it just gets so heavy on your skin and makes me break out personally. And I just sweat it off because in the hot heat that is Utah, 
it will happen. So I don't usually wear face makeup, but when I do, it's like powder, blush, and bronzer, and that's it. Um, so for my powder, I have been using this Face Secrets Featherweight Powder Brush. It is, it reminds me of, fuck, the MAC 138, I think. It's a face brush. It's shaped like an egg, and I love it. Um, usually when I dry them, I use brush guards so they go into a nicer shape, but this one's just really big. I find that it's dense enough to pick up product, but not too dense, and it doesn't pick up too much product, and I use it with my CoverGirl Press Powder. And then for, like, a really, really, really precise highlight or, like, a really precise contour, like, on my nose and jawline area, if I do contour those places, I use the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight. This is a dual fiber um, highlighting brush, and it's just the perfect size. It has bronzer on it right now, so I apologize. But it's just really good for, like, really precise contour. I like it for contouring my jawline because it's not too big and it's also obviously perfect for highlighting. Um, typically for blush I will use this Miss Glam little blush brush. It's so cute and girly and I use it with my Does This Thing Really Work blush from the Swamp Queen palette. <laughs> typically to blend out my contour I will use this angled brush from Face Secrets. It's just like an angled contour brush really big perfect for like blending your shit out you feel me eye brushes i have a few favorites because i don't use the same eye brushes every day where the fuck is my angle brush hello oh there it is anyways i use the emacs angled brush for my brows it's literally perfect um i use the anastasia dip brow for like blending i have two choices either this one from emacs it's just a really like fluffy blending brush essentially good for just like blending out harsh lines to place my crease color i use the mac 224 i put clear nail polish over the mac logo so it doesn't wear off and it's just perfect the only thing i have to say about mac brushes is they tend to be a little bit like spiky on your eyes and shit i'm like ow makeup hurt so yeah this guy is amazing Fook. um and then for like outer corner color when I want like a V shape on my outer corner I use an angled brush from Emacs it's just a fluffy angled blending brush and then for precise crease work I use the Inspur 282 eye fluff brush it's basically a dupe for the Mac what is that brush the Mac 217 um, and then for concealer sometimes underneath my brows I use the Luxie 221 flat definer it's just like a really dense flat brush I like it because you can literally get right up under there um, and sometimes if I want to do like really intense brow work I'll use this guy I have one favorite for setting spray this is the hard candy fast and fabulous I like this because it doesn't make my face feel like hairspray like sticky essentially um even if i'm just doing like a kind of low coverage powder look i just spray this on my face and then i do my brows spray it do highlight spray it i spray it after every step it locks your makeup on there i've noticed that after i do my eyeliner my eyes water really bad and this locks it on there Fuck. for face products my powder that i use i switch between powders most of the time but the the one that i've been using is the l'oreal true match powder this is in n2 classic ivory and this is like a more obviously drugstore powder but it is more full coverage and it's a little bit more like buttery it comes off easier um you can't see it but it's there so this is my go-to and then when i'm feeling like a a more full coverage but more natural look I use the CoverGirl clean finish in 125 buff beige uh, something about CoverGirl powders they just smell so good so I recommend this guy for blush let me just not knock my camera down that'd be great for blush I typically use I have two choices I either use the blush from the Tarte Swamp Queen palette with graveyard girl um, and it's called does this thing really work this is the blush that I use if I want like a really super like e-girl blush like over the nose and I want like a really heavy like almost sunburnt look 
but this does have a, like really chunky glitters in it so if you're not into glittery blushes I would not recommend this guy but it's a really pale pink and I'm obsessed um, and then my choice for blush when I want to go more natural has been the so Susan blush and glow in rose rust and it's just like a really corally blush definitely more natural than the Tarte one but also more of like a sheen I guess for highlight I typically reach for my Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia collab this glow kit is incredible I love everything Anastasia and I obviously wow I obviously adore Nicole Guerrero she's been my favorite forever uh, my favorite shade from this is definitely forever young so I love that guy for palettes I haven't really used a palette per se where did it go it's on my bed it's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe ring the alarm palette um also for palettes I love anything Urban Decay. I have the Naked 1, the Naked 2, and the Naked Smoky. Um, this one's missing some, but she's incredible. The Naked Smoky, the packaging is definitely my favorite out of all of them. And I love that it comes with a big mirror. You've got like your daytime shades, your like blending transition shades, and then your nighttime shades, and obviously your pop of color with the blue here. And then the Naked 1 is essentially everything you could want in a neutral palette. So I love anything Urban Decay. Urban Decay has been a favorite brand of mine for a while. Yeah, and then for like smaller eyeshadows, I have two from CoverGirl. The first one is a single one from the Eye Enhancer collection, and this is the Snow Blossom single eyeshadow. I don't know if they still make this. It's in the old packaging, so I'm not sure, but it's just a shimmery white. I use it for my inner corner. It's right there. And then for like a natural daytime look when I don't do eyeliner or anything, I use the CoverGirl Shirley Nudes Quad in 265. Just like really soft, neutral daytime colors. That's about it for eyeshadow. For my brows, I either use, this is actually a cream eyeliner, but I use it as brows. It's the Wet n Wild from the Fergie collection in Coco, and it's a brown color. Um, but my go-to has been the Anastasia Dip Brow, and this one is in chocolate. And I recently hit pan, which is so sad. Um, yeah, so that's brows. Um, for... I don't know if I have my eyeliner out. Oh, there it is. For eyeliner, I use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It's a black liquid eyeliner. I like eyeliners that have the cute little brush that comes out, just because they're easier for me to work with. And this one is actual bristles, but just as like a, like look how thin that goes on. It's incredible. Lasts all day and I like it because at the end of the day, you can go like this and it doesn't crack. For mascara, I've been using the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Waterproof. This is waterproof. Like, like you could literally dive in the ocean and swim for 10 hours and it would not go anywhere. It's the blackest, most amazing mascara. It makes your lashes look like, phew, and just like pretty, and I, I'm obsessed. So yeah, for lippies, I guess we'll have to move over to my bed now because I have all my lippies that I use in a pouch. So, I did not mean to talk for 15 minutes. Oh my God. That's disgusting. For lippies, I have all my lippies in here. This is like my pouch that I've been carrying around. If I could get all my shit out of the way first, that'd be great. So I essentially have four favorite lip products. The first one is my all-time favorite gloss. I've mentioned this before. Comes in two shades. I like the pink one. It's the Physicians Formula Plump Potion, needle-free plumping cocktail in pink crystal. And I like it because it has a brush and I'm just obsessed with the packaging. So I love that. I love anything Physician's Formula for that matter. Um, and then I love the Physician's Formula Butter Lip Balm in Pinkini. I've been loving the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Devotion. She's super cute. Opaque pink color, look how pretty. Lasts forever, super creamy, super nourishing. I love this guy. And then for another drugstore, I've been loving the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Loyalist. And it's like it 
it literally lasts forever. Like, you could put this on and it would last 12 hours. Oh, well. hi. I'm editing and I just realized that this video is already 24 minutes long because I decided to talk for 15 minutes about my favorite makeup products. Um, sorry about it, but this is going to be the end of the video because apparently I don't know how to keep my damn mouth shut. Anyways, I love you and I will see you in my next video real soon. Bye, guys.